Welcome back to another episode of How Would You Sketch That? In this episode, how would you sketch this item? Pause the video, take a crack at it, and I'll see you in a second. Now that you've attempted to sketch this, and let's see how you did. Let's start out by creating a sketch and let's put it on the top plane. We're gonna create a series of circles starting from the center outward. We're gonna create about four of them. As you can tell from the diagram, there is no diameter icons. You only see radius. Not a problem. What we can do is, we'll start out with the center, right click, select radius instead of diameter, and we'll set the inside to be 16, which is the smallest one. We can do the same for the outside, right click, radius. We're gonna do this for all circles. Now that we've measured all the circles, let's go ahead and create the geometry we need to set up the profile. For this circle and this circle, I'm gonna leave them solid. For these two circles, I'm gonna go ahead and create construction lines. Now I need to create the space in the center and rotate it around to make six objects. To do this, let's go ahead and create a rectangle we're gonna use a two point rectangle. Let's make a construction. I wanted to make it six millimeters in width. We're gonna constrain the top portions here, here, and here. And now it's fully defined. Let's continue with the outline for those spaces. Selecting here and here. Let's use the circular pattern command. Select these two lines here, the two solid lines anyway. Center point. You want the quantity to be six. And it should be set now. Next, I wanna create the outline on these arcs here. So we need a three point arc. Connect these two points here. For this one, do the same thing. Connect these two points here. I'm gonna use the concentric constraint. Select this arc, select that circle. Select this arc, select that circle. Once again, I'm gonna use circular pattern command. Left click and hold, so we can make sure we select the correct arc. Center point. Once again, make it six, uh, quantity of six. All right, let's go ahead and start creating the outside circles. We're gonna create a series of about six of them, internal to each other. We're gonna make these two circles on the outside of these construction lines and you'll see why. We're gonna use the equal constraint, make these two outside circles equal to each other. And we're gonna also make the inside circles all equal to each other. Let's start adding some dimensions. I know the inside circle has a radius of 15 millimeters. Once again, select the radius. And all the previous circles are set. 
And let's left click and hold to grab the dotted arc. Sketch dimension, right click, radius, should be 21. And last but not least, let's select this outside circle. And we want the radius to be 20. I'll clean this up in a bit, looks a little bit messy. Let's begin to lock these down by adding dimensions. I know from here to here, it's from about 50 millimeters. I also know that this center point here should line up with this center point there. I also know that the distance between here and here should be 60 millimeters. The distance from this circle to this circle about 20 millimeters and we'll repeat the same here at the top and to make sure it's the same just left click and it'll add it same here now that that's locked into place for now, I'm gonna turn off the dimensions so I can see better. I'm gonna use the line command. Left click, hold and drag until I touch this circle here to see the tangent constraint. Locked into place. I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna to continue to connect it because I want these, I wanna get the curve between this circle and this circle. So use your three point arc. I don't want the constraint just yet. I'm gonna do this at the bottom as well. Add dimensions to this arc. This should be 20. The same for this one. Get an area here. Let me check it out again. Make sure it should be good to go. I turned off dimensions, that's why. That's what happens when you turn off dimensions. Set this dimension to the same. Now I'll turn off dimensions for now. Select tangent. Now let's finish up the profile by using the three point arc. Select this point and this point. For the contour of the circle. Same here. Now it's fully defined. I'm also gonna go ahead and turn off points. Clean it up even more. I'm gonna create a construction line and run it from center point down. And this is only gonna be to mirror this object. Select the mirror command and select the profile as follows. Select the mirror line, the line I just created. And now I can also turn off constraints. And that completes the sketch. Well, I hope you liked this quick repetition. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.